Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video. This is Efren, Passpoint One Comics. Um, I usually do a segment once a month, my not so hot top 10 picks and a couple of uh, dishonorable mentions. I, I may do that down the line again, but these are books basically, they're more than top 10. And these are books that are coming out in June. So these are advanced orders that you can order right now at your LCS or wherever you buy comic books from. These are ones that have grabbed my attention. And oh, before I go any further as usual, whomever watches my channel, thank you very much. I always appreciate it. If you're a first time viewer or if you're one of my regular viewers, uh, either or, it's always appreciated. I do these videos because comic books is a big part of my life. And I just like talking about comic books. And I decided to um, start doing these YouTube videos on a regular basis. And like I said, I'll, and by the way, if you notice my shirt is Marvel and my hat is Marvel, I'm not being paid by Marvel Comics, just to let you know, okay? I just like Marvel Comics. It was the very first uh, books that I started reading when I was a kid, and Marvel will always be my favorite um, publication, but I like all kinds of books now. I mean, I like DC, I like Image, Boom, um, <clears throat> Aftershock, IDW. If it's a good book, and if it catches my interest, because I do read my books, you know, I just don't collect them to collect them. 99% um, of the books I do read and I enjoy reading them. I usually have a, uh, a statue or something here on the side. And this is by um, <clears throat> Scotty Young. It's an actual, um, like, you open it up and there's comic books in here and um, there's pins. I have shown them to you before. Hopefully you can see them. And there's also like a uh, journal in there you can write on. And it came with a comic book also. Uh, let me take it out here. Came out with this Excalibur books. Bought this um, earlier this year, the beginning or late last year. And I uh, haven't written anything in this journal. I'm thinking what I'm gonna be doing is um, taking it when comic book conventions come back and see if I have to get some artists to uh, draw a um, picture on each book. So hopefully I'll be able to do that, see how many I can do you know, from one convention to convention where they can draw on it, hopefully. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so my first book, and like I said, these books are gonna be coming out in June. This first one is called Star Wars Darth Vader, number 13. It's War of the Bounty Hunters. Looks like this takes place in Return of the Jedi, um, right where um, Han Solo was carbonized, you know, so uh, Boba Fett has him, but looks like other bounty hunters want him. It hasn't started yet, but it looks like it's going to be a really good series, so I want to be picking up this series for sure. Uh, next one is uh, Dr. Afro number 11. Next we have, uh, this is part of the War of the Bounty Hunters, is Dr. Oh! Dr. Afro number 11 is part of the War of the Bounty Hunters, sorry. Um, now this is the actual series. The other ones are like uh, parts of the series, but the main part will be Star Wars, Star Wars War Bounty Hunters number one of five. And next up we have Black Knight Curse Ebony Blade number four. Daredevil number 31. If you've been reading Daredevil, um, I've been talking about it on a regular basis on my other videos. He has been incarcerated and um, Elektra has taken his place as Daredevil in Hell's Kitchen. Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, number six of six. Cover artist is by Billy Tan. Marvel Voices Pride, number one. Heroes Reborn, Night Gwen, number one. Next we have Demon Days Mariko number one. Another Demon Days Mariko number one. This is by Jim Bartel. Heroes Reborn, Weapon X, and Final Flight number one. These are basically, if the heroes were reborn, uh, reiterations of certain characters, uh, superhero teams, and individuals. Marauders number 21. Sword number six, and all these obviously are Marvel. So, <laughs> like I said, I like Marvel. X Corp number two. 
Batman Reptilian number one. Uh, looks like there's a reptilian's eye, but if you look at their eye closely, it has um, Batman, like his logo on there. Batman Superman number 19. Looks like Batman and Superman are in the Wild West. Superheroes, Batman and Superman and Cowboys. I mean, who doesn't like that? Come on. Batman Urban Legend number four. Catwoman number 32. Cover B. It's a Jenny Frizon cover. Detective Comics number 1037. Crime Syndicate number four of six. Looks like this is their version of a Green Lantern. DC Pride number one, one shot, a cover B by Jim Bartel. Pride Month variant. Flash number 771, cover B. Green Lantern number three. These are new characters in the Green Lantern, so um, I like them so far. I mean, it's a very unique um, series and I've been reading it. And uh, one of the Green Lanterns, the one uh, on the my left, and <laughs> maybe you're right, I gotta see how this picture turns out on your side. She hasn't exactly been given the ring. She has found some way to siphon the powers of Green Lantern, and but she is a Green Lantern, at least so far. Uh, Wonder Woman Black and Gold number one is a Jen Bartel um, cover. And here's another one, um, Wonder Woman Black and Gold number one, but it's a Yannick Paquette variant. Next we have Captain, I'm sorry, Action Comics number 1032. To me, it looks like Superman of days gone by, like in the 1940s serial um, when it was on TV back then. He's like, opening up his suit and you see the Superman uh, emblem on there. Uh, Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries number three. Um, Batman Scooby-Doo. I mean, it's a perfect combination if you ask me. Justice League Unlimited Girl Power. Girl Power. Um, Justice League Unlimited was a great series on um, network cartoon or cartoon network, sorry. Uh, this, is, look, this is like, um, it's, and also it was a, a series, so this is some of the storyline within that series, but I think it's a cool looking cover. Compass number one by Image Comics. When there's, when I pick my books, if there's number one issues that come out, I try to get them, because um, hopefully there'll be a good storyline, and um, I like indie books a lot now also. Geiger number three. Home Sick Pilots number six. If you've been reading Home Sick Pilots, it's a good storyline. Basically, these teenagers went into a haunted house, and it is haunted, obviously, and some of them are killed off immediately, but this one girl survives, and she's kind of half alive and half dead. But this haunted house has makes her do some tasks on the house's behalf, so she has to go out in the world and you know do these tasks um, don't know what's going to happen to the character, you know, it's an ongoing story so far. Inkblot number nine by Emma Kubert and uh, Rusty Glad. And these are all image books. Um, Philadelphia number 14. Um, this is a good series so far. Basically, if, say, if Philadelphia was taken over by vampires, what would happen? Noctera number four is a Jenny Frizz on cover. Stray Dogs Part 5. This reminds me of um, Jason books, the, the movie Jason, or Friday the 13th if you look at this cover. But uh, it's a person, you can just see like from the neck down and you can see the woods in the person's body, but he's holding on to a dog tag. So basically it's dogs who, um, there's mass murderer has been killing all the dog's owners, but he keeps the dogs. But the dogs in this series, they can think and they can talk and they know something is wrong. So that's where the story is right now. Uh, Apex Legends Overtime 104, and this is by Dark Horse Comics. The legends from the Battle Royale video game find themselves pulled together to rescue the city from mad scientists 
brutal assassins, and the sudden and sinister grip of the syndicate, a corrupt cabal attempting to fix arena outcomes in their favor. It's a number one, so I'm gonna get it. <laughs> uh, Black Hammer Reborn, number one. This is an homage to, I believe, Thor 337. The cover is. Uh, God of War, Fallen God, number four. Imogene of Wiring Way, cover A. It's a one shot. North Mythology, um, series two, cover one, cover by uh, David Mack. Parasomnia, number one, cover by Andrea Muti. Marvel Action Avengers, number one. This is by IDW. IDW does do books um, on Marvel-based characters, but they're under their own publishing. Basilic, number one, cover A. Uh, here's another cover. It's cover B of Basilic. Good Luck, one of five, cover A. Save Yourself, one of four, cover A by Matthews. Eros Psyche by Ablaze, issue number four. This is by uh, Sabine Rich. Um, I've read issue number one. It's a, it's an okay storyline, uh, but I like the covers a lot. Um, every now and then I do buy some books um, just by the cover itself. And Sabine Rich is one of my favorite artists. So whenever I see her artwork, um, I pick it up. And here's another cover of that issue. Space Pirate Captain Harlock Harlock number one. And here's um, issue, I mean, still um, issue number one, but cover B. Bunny Mask number one. This is a weird looking cover. It looks like she's wearing a bunny mask, but she also looks like she may be some type of zombie or some, I don't know, her face is green also. So it's a unique looking cover. Out of Body number one, cover A by Miranda. This is by Aftershock Comics. Beyond the Farthest Star number one. Uh, American Mythology Productions is the publisher. World War Three, issue number one by Antarctic Press. Moth number one by Artists, Writers and Artisans or AWA, the publisher. Uh, this is uh, cover B of that same issue. And next we have ENIAC number four. I, when ENIAC number one came out, I completely missed it. And that comic book blew up, man. Everybody wanted it. It was high priced after that, I didn't get it. So I've been trying to do a more concentrated effort when I look at my previews to get books that are, are number one that I think may have some um, uptake to them. So we'll see. But this is issue number four. <laughs> um, Tankers number two. I did buy Tankers number one. Basically, I haven't read it yet. Um, the world supply of petroleum is basically gone. So these people go back in time to um, extend the lives of dinosaurs. But of course, everything goes wrong. When they come back to the present time, dinosaurs are more evolved and it's trouble for the earth. Um, I think that's my last one. So yep, like I said, these are previews that are coming out uh, in June. Uh, I try to pick ones that grab my attention that hopefully we'll, um, we'll see how they turn out. So um, in my previous video, um, if you leave a comment, it's still ongoing. I have a giveaway going. Um, look at that video and you'll see what the giveaway is. It's a Berserker comic and I'll show it right here also. Um, it's an issue that was given to me by JT Ripple Pressing. Um, they're a really great group uh, on Instagram, JT and Recasters. Every Wednesday, they have um, they go to a local comic book store. So say if you went to your shop, but you missed out on some books, they have them on a live sale. Basically, it starts at 6.30 uh, Eastern Time, 3.30 Pacific Time. Um, he was kind enough to give me a book to give away for a raffle, which is still ongoing. 
Like I said, you have to leave a comment on the previous video. If you wanna leave a comment here, it's fine, but you won't be included. Um, it's the previous one. It's still ongoing, about another week or two weeks left on that. So um, these are all the books um, that are coming out in June. Uh, hopefully you like this video. Um, I'm gonna be doing this on a monthly basis. These are books that caught my attention. So once again, my name is Efren. I don't work for Marvel, but I like their shirts. So everybody be safe and take care.